Hey everyone, it's Timothy2009, and I'm here with sort of a different video. This isn't a Thomas video, but when I made a Thomas video, um, in one of them at least, I asked you guys if I should um, do a video called My Thoughts on Cars 3. The reason why I asked that is because um, I thought it was a very great movie, like, it had to be the best Pixar movie ever, in general, in my opinion. And I've shown you that I do have a bunch of cars there. Trainboy17 gave me the idea to review these guys, because he has a race car OC. I don't know if he's ever seen the movie Cars, but for those of you um, who are watching this, have you seen Cars? Like, all three Pixar movies. If you have, what are your thoughts on them? I won't do um, my thoughts on Cars 3 just yet. I'll do that soon, though. Isaiah Rodriguez has wanted me to do that since he's seen the movie as well and he thought it was good. But I'm going to talk about these cars here. So, most of you may recall, ever since 2006, Mattel actually made some 155 scale diecast cars. Now, I never actually had a strong bond to them because it was hard to collect them all at one point and I never got to, around to it. I kept on selling them because I like Thomas more than Cars. Thomas is still my favorite show, but my favorite Pixar movie is Cars. The reason why is because they are vehicle characters with um, faces and they can talk like Thomas and his friends. And there are some other shows with talking vehicles, like Bob Builder has um, talking machines, and Chuggington has some talking diesel engines. And there are some trains from other cartoons, like Dumbo has Casey Jr., and Play Safe has Montana. There's the little engine that could with talking trains. But anyways, let's talk about these guys. So these are Mattel and new diecast cars. They're still making 155 scale cars, but these are known as mini racers. And they're sort of like Thomas Minis, like where they're small. And what's great about these is that they actually roll. There was a Cars mini series called Mini Adventures, but that was not an ongoing series. But the mini racers here is ongoing, and I hope that it will grow into a bigger collection soon. Every year, Mattel releases a new character from Cars, mainly Cars 3, but they have been um, branching out to um, Cars 1 as well. Let me see here. Yeah, they've been branching out to Cars 1, judging by this car right here. They haven't, I mean, actually they did make some Cars 2 characters, but they haven't made um, the spy characters like Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell. That's something I hope Mattel will do. Oh, I've made a custom Holly Shiftwell right here. And there's just a bunch of cars in here. Some customs and even some official races. You can find these at blind bags and three packs and they're way cheaper than the 155 scale cars. The 155 scale cars are like three or six dollars a pop. But I think Getting a three pack for five dollars and getting a blind bag for about one or two dollars is a much greater bargain for just some tiny cars that are kind of like the 155 scale cars. So that's why I've never sold them because this is Mattel's best toy line ever. Mattel has made Thomas Wood and has improved, but for cars, this has to be their best toy yet. And I'm sure they're making more 155 scale cars, but I like these more, and I am happy that Mattel is not forgetting about these, and every year continues to make a new character. There's going to be some more mini races for 2021, so I'll be going to Target to get some of them. And my next Thomas Wood engine that I'll purchase is a Thomas Wood Gordon, and I'm going to be making Alfred's sister Hazel. And my next um, Thomas character will be Flora, the tram engine, if I get a Thomas Wood Toby. So, I'll do more Thomas Wood customs eventually, but we'll just, um, do the cars first. So, this is gonna be, um, 
finish the menu. So enough of me talking. Let's actually start with one of the main protagonists. So um, I do have Cars 3 on DVD, but it's been a while since I've watched it. But still, I love the movie so much. If you guys are Thomas fans and if you haven't seen Cars 3, I recommend you do that. Now, throughout this video, I'm not going to spoil too much about Cars 3. If you don't want to give any spoilers. But anyways, let's begin before I waste any time. The video's already five minutes. So, this is the main cat character of the entire Cars franchise. Except for Cars 2. But anyways, this is Lightning McQueen. And Lightning McQueen is the main car here. And he is voiced by Owen Wilson. Now, that is so genius. Like, Owen Wilson does a great job for Lightning McQueen. Owen Wilson was also the voice of Marmaduke. But I like Lightning McQueen here. He's red. He's a primary color. He's not blue like Thomas, though. But still, he's not a bad car. Alright, so Lightning McQueen. I don't know what car he's based off of. But I'm going to guess it's a NASCAR race car. Basically, um, the cars, race cars, are like the NASCAR racers from Cars 1 and 3. So, um, this is actually Cars 3, Lightning McQueen. It's different from Cars 1, McQueen, because, um, the Rusty's, um, bumper is, um, red here instead of yellow. He actually has some um, flames on his lightning bolts. But he does look like the Cars 3, McQueen, just because he has the spoiler and the Rusty's logo. Rusty's is Lightning McQueen's sponsorship, and Rusty's is like a medicated bumper ointment, like a rear-end formula, if you've never seen Cars 1. So, Lightning McQueen sponsors Rusty's, and I thought he was an interesting character, mainly because he's the star of the show. The movies, that is. I don't think they've ever made any Cars episodes, just some shorts and movies. But anyways... I think Lightning McQueen is an interesting character, and I love how Mattel captured him so well. I don't know if I could say anything else about Lightning McQueen, just he's a great main character. And in Cars 3, it was about um, retirement and new cars coming in. So, um, Lightning McQueen did not retire, thank God. He's still a race car, but he's now um, a mentor. And I'll talk about that character soon. But before I get to that character, that Lightning Queen is training, let's see him. Here's the villain of Cars 3. So this is Jackson Storm, voiced by um, Army Hammer. I think that's how you say his name. But Army Hammer is a great actor as well for Jackson Storm. How is Jackson Storm a villain? Well, um, he um, caused Lightning Queen to crash, and he also... Um, try to prevent um, this car from winning the four to 500. Well, I'll get to her in a second. Yeah, it's a girl. So anyways, let's talk about Jackson Storm. So, um, I don't know what Jackson Storm is based on either, but I'm gonna say he's a Bugatti Veyron. I'm calling him a Bugatti. I mean, he kind of looks like a Bugatti Veyron because of um, his design. He's um, kind of this black, and he sponsors Igniter. And he's actually the next-gen NASCAR racer. But that's not actually real. Um, Cars 3 just thought of that. So this is a Formula 1 car, and this is a NASCAR racer. I don't think in real life, a Bugatti Veyron would not be a fit for NASCAR. I mean, Jackson Storm is actually faster than Lightning McQueen. He goes to 200 miles an hour, but Lightning McQueen can't get to 200. He hits 190. Like, every time he tries to get fast. He is not able to get faster than Jackson Storm. So he um, decides to bring in a new character. So Jackson Storm um, is an interesting car. I like his design and his spoiler. And it's interesting to know that he's a Bugatti Veyron. Like, I think Bugattis are um, interesting. So um, I wish that in 2006 they thought of Jackson Storm. John Lasseter is the writer for Cars. So I'm surprised that it took him this long to make a character such as Jackson Storm. But he's interesting, in my opinion. Alright, now we get to Lightning McQueen's new uh, mentor, or trainee, as I 
But this was Lightning McQueen's trainer before Lightning McQueen actually became this girl's crew chief. So this is um, Cruz Ramirez, as she is voiced by um, Cristela Alonso, which is an interesting voice. I love Cruz's voice so much. And she's like a Toyota car. So um, she isn't a race car, but Cruz became Lightning Queen's trainer to make him become faster than Jackson Storm. Only she doesn't actually teach him to become fast. She just teaches him how to stretch and work out. And then um, Cruz explains to McQueen that she's always wanted to be a race car, but she was never um, able to actually race. Like, she wanted to race, but she just never got around to it. So in the Florida 500, Lightning McQueen actually um, does half the race. And then Cruz does the other half, which was kind of an interesting scene here. Lightning McQueen wasn't faster than the Bugatti, so Cruz and Mirrors can actually get to 200. So, um... She actually um, wins the Florida 500, and then the billboard shoots up and says that both her and Lightning McQueen win. So Lightning McQueen doesn't retire. Anyways, um, Cruz Ramirez is my favorite female character. Like, she's amazing. The way she um, won was quite interesting. Now, here comes one of the spoilers. So, um, Lightning McQueen gets to the pit stop. He asks Cruz to race for him, so, um... He puts his tires on her, 